Good day, Doctor. So I'm going to introduce my mentor, which is Dr. Teo Wu Chet, and my name is Tai Chi Wai, and my group members are Manoj Kiran, Muhammad Arif Zahin, and Mia Arif Azuan. So my group is going to do Team 2, Accessibility and Mobility of People with Disabilities, and we have decided our title, which is Smart Electric Wheelchair System. So I'm going to start my presentation with the concept briefing about Smart Electric Wheelchair System. So in this project, we are going to create an electric wheelchair that can be controlled wirelessly with no physical efforts and user condition can be monitored easily by using mobile application. We are going to the concept function of the system. First, a mobile application that can replace the joystick function on the wheelchair and control the movement of the electric wheelchair through the smart electric wheelchair system. Second, the smart electric wheelchair system which is able to detect any accident occurrence and send out emergency alert to the mobile application. Third, an emergency button is installed on the wheelchair that allows user to seek for help by pressing it and alert will be sent to the mobile application. Fourth, the smart electric wheelchair system with a GPS tracker where family members and caregivers can track the location of the wheelchair through the mobile application. Number five, the smart electric wheelchair system that can detect users' health data and vital signs and record as history. Family members and caregivers can monitor and check through the mobile application. Lastly, number six, the smart electric wheelchair system is able to send out notification to the mobile application where abnormal health data is detected and emergency alert will be also be sent to the mobile application when abnormal vital signs are detected. So for the power supply system, we have used rechargeable battery for the main power supply and this is able to supply for both the electric motor of the wheelchair and the smart system. At the same time, we are using dynamo electric generator as the second power supply. And this is only supply electric for the smart system. We are aiming to get the goal of affordable and clean energy by using this. Thank you. Mm. Okay, my name is Mir Osman, Mir Osman. One eight one one two nine eight one two nine eight one. Today I want to introduce uh, for introducing NLP. Let's see. The NLP wheelchair is a device used to compensate for the physical capability of a person who experiences difficulty working unsuccessfully. Also, in the H and the disabled often have decreased sensing and judgment abilities. This is often essential to assist their ability and their physical abilities. There are several functions that are distinct from the concept among which is the
Okay, then let's uh, design background. Okay. A design background, a small widget and to provide add to tools disable and physically challenges person by providing then which mobile mobility that will greatly help them. A very good day to all the lecturers and panels. I am Manush Kiran from RK08 and I'll be presenting about the problem statement, objective and lastly will be the scope. Okay, in the problem statement, according to the World Health Organization, 15% of the world population are disabled people and out of the total disabled people, 2-4% to of them have problem in functioning which means uh, they are unable to move by themselves or independently. And according to a journalist named S. Narayanan, he did a study on challenges faced by the disabled people at the workplace in Malaysia. What we can say is employers reluctant to hire them since uh, employers they feel that uh, those disabled people will not be able to give their best output towards the company and so on and this as uh, this as indirectly became a barrier to those disabled people to contribute to the society to the company and so on according to a journalist named uh, Michael Juska who did a research or a journal on the topic the most common problem in wheelchair selections it is stated that the current wheelchair in the market is too basic and there is no any advanced uh, or technologies which is uh, incorporated into the wheelchair and wheelchair has been said so by another person known as uh, Patricia Butes from SAP News and this person has also said that if there is any advanced or technology incorporated into the wheelchair all those uh, companies are actually still in uh, research and development and no companies have produced yet now I'll talk about our team's uh, objective our team objective is to design a new contemporary generation wheelchair and uh, which is according to the industrial revolution 4.0 which means the wheelchair that we are be designing will be fulfilled or meet the uh, requirement by the industrial revolution of 4.0 second is to incorporate uh, IOT which is internet of things components into the wheelchair so that uh, we are able to monitor the disabled people who are using the wheelchair like such as uh, during for emergencies and so on in case they are missing and kind of stuff lah okay other than that we want to innovate a wheelchair where minimal human efforts is needed to move the wheelchair which means we don't need a normal person that means a non-disabled person to push the push the wheelchair around okay other than that is to fuse the renewable energy source into the wheelchair as a part of the SDG which is a sustainable development goal and lastly 
our objective is to record the user's simple health history and monitor their vital signs using uh, big data software. Lastly will be our scope. Okay. The wheelchair we have designed is mainly for those disabled people who couldn't walk. And we want to fuse IoT and Big Data as I mentioned just now. And this IoT and Big Data, we can control them through mobile phone by using the apps. So we are able to monitor their health, their whereabouts and so on. Okay. And this IoT and Big Data will be very useful uh, as I said just now. And lastly, for the main power source, we will be using a rechargeable battery and at the same time, we will be using a dynamo as a small as a way, a small way to create power just to just to give power supply to the software. And that's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings to all of you. My name is Muhammad Ali Zahin bin Alias. I am from Group 1 and today I have been tasked to present about the benchmarking and the conclusion for my group proposal reports. Okay, uh, let's have a look at the benchmarking first. Basically, the benchmarking is about how we evaluate uh, different products available in the market based on several criteria that we want to input in our project. Uh, we have choose three different products and this product when we evaluate we will give a uh, grade from 1 to 5 which is 5 is the most desired mark and based on this grade uh, we will apply some of them in our project. Uh, in the benchmarking, we provide two different tables and this first table uh, is the data that we collect based on each products. So we have three different products. First is Smart Operated System Color Customized Big Wheel Lightweight Electric Wheelchair available in Alibaba. Second is Best Smart Motorized Wheelchair Power Wheelchair also available in Alibaba and second is Golden Technologies Light Rider NV Compact Power Wheelchair So the criteria that we look at uh, are listed in the table First is Dimension Second is Material Third is Lightweight uh, Fourth is Loading Capacity Fifth is batteries, sixth is warranty, seventh is power, eight is driving range, and the most important, I think, the number nine cost. Okay, so this data that we collect are listed based on the criteria that we want to look at, which is all these nine data. So we look at the second table. For the second table, we have shown that we have evaluated the product that we have choose available in the market based on the criteria that the customer required. First is weight, second is durability, third is power efficiency, fourth is easy to handle, fifth is long uh, life. And six is cost, and seven is reliability. Okay, based on the criteria that we have mentioned, which is the customer requirement, we have found out that the second product have the best mark accumulated. I would like to add that benchmarking is important because it provides us a wide view about how we check or how these products have been a requirement for the wheelchair user and then based on the customer requirement we will 
have an improvement to make based on each requirement or each criteria that we have listed. Okay, next for the conclusion. In conclusion, we believe that our project has significant importance that highlight the issue of disabled people, especially for the people who are using wheelchair in general. This project widen wheelchair user capability and enhancing their safety to the point that it will increase their mobility in their daily life aligned with the scope or the deems mandate for our project. Regarding the IR 4.0 and the SGD, we are focusing on the Internet of Things and the Renewable Energy Source for the Sustainable Development Goal. It is our priorities to make sure that all the objectives stated will be achieved in order to address the problem stated in the problem statement. By reviewing the available wheelchair in the market, we believe that this project is a step up necessary to adjust the way of disabled people in order to adapt the need of the industry. As workforce and labor are the sustenance way of income, product like wheelchair really play a big role for disabled people to work normally as anybody else. In regard to that, we present this project. Thank you. So, we continue with the reference. All of these are reference that we use in our proposal. And number 10 and 11 is the reference for the textbook and journal that we use. Thank you.